good morning family i just had candy for breakfast y'all comment down below what y'all had for breakfast so today you guys we are going to be trying eggnog for the first time i know some y'all probably like what what but listen i'm not really a fan of like milk and um it was giving me milk vibes so i never never wanted to try it so i said you know what this year is the year you know it's christmas time you know so i decided hey we're gonna try eggnog today i'm about to finish getting ready and then we're gonna hop in the car and go to target y'all i think i'm finally joining the team of target i used to just shop at walmart you know wasn't trying to go nowhere else but lately i've been shopping at target a lot and i don't know i'm kind of liking the vibe like it's it's like real chill but like like i don't really know how to describe it but it's giving me like okay let me say it like this so when i go to walmart my goal is to get in get out but when i go to target i'm always curious to see what else they got going on i'm always curious and end up spending like an hour um in the store when i only you know went in there to get like one or two things i don't end up spending a lot but i do end up exploring the um store a lot more than i do than when i go to walmart so your girl is team target all right so let's go you guys we're gonna get in the car and then on to target we go <sighs> plans to try one but then i figured if i'm doing an eggnog tasting it'd only be right to get some more so i decided to get this one this one and this one so you guys i was doing good and was on my way out till i saw something that made me stop look at this guys how cool is that if anybody want to give me something for christmas get me this let me show y'all the price so y'all not shocked later when y'all get it for me I always see stuff in Target that I want, but I'm doing good. I'm not gonna buy anything else. I'm just gonna buy the eggnog. And we're about to check out, go back home, and try this knock. Look at this pretty planner. I don't even need a planner. Look at this, guys. This is like cute for no reason. I don't even need one. Am I the only one who gets the receipt just to throw it away? Like, please don't have my car because I don't have money for no one. Do not, okay. I would literally get my receipt, have no plans for it, but I just feel like I cannot leave without it. <laughs> like, even the places that where you go and then they ask if you want it or not, you know, normally, you know, if I don't have plans for it, I should be saying no, but I always say yes. I don't know why, but y'all comment down below if y'all like that too. All right, so right now we're done and we are gonna head home so we can try this noggin out. All right, you guys. So I finally made it home and now I am about to try. This one is an alcoholic one, so kids, y'all don't get to get this one. But this is Market Pantry Eggnog, and this is the traditional one. This one and this one, they're both non-alcoholic, and they're from the same brand, Southern Comfort. Thank y'all, because not everybody like liquor. Um, this one is traditional, and this one is vanilla spice. 
I'm super excited about this one because like anything vanilla is just the bomb to come. All right, so first, when I poured it, y'all, it was very thick. I didn't know eggnog was thick. Um, <laughs> it was thick. Um, yeah, it was thick. So we're going to try this one first, the Southern Non-Alcoholic. like oh now i'm really excited for this one it tastes like um caramel candy this one one out of ten i'd give this one um eight only an eight because i feel like they want to make it sweet but like they don't at the same time but i feel like if it was a little sweeter it would have been a ten so this one eight out of ten now time to try the market pantry one. I'm not going to take a lot of this because I don't want to get drunk. <laughs> oh, this one isn't as thick as this one. Oh, because they probably cut, maybe because of alcohol. I don't know, but this one is not as thick as that one. Okay, come on. It is the same. If you're Haitian, this one tastes more like Kumas than that one. But this one's not bad either. So this one, seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. That they lost that one point compared to this one because it got alcohol in it. And then now for the last one. Alright, we're gonna try this one. Ooh. This what y'all been drinking? I've been missing out. This one right here. This one right here. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. If you're like me and you never tried eggnog, look, sis, bro, mom, pop. <laughs> Miss it out. It tastes so good. If I had to recommend any of them, I would definitely recommend this one hands down. And then this one. Okay. Alright, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. I'm so glad that now I can say I'm an eggnog drinker and that I rock with eggnog. I don't know if they sell this at any other time other than Christmas, but anyways, when I see this down, I want a little something sweet, you know, and um you know what it is? It's like Starbucks. If y'all get like a caramel frappe at Starbucks, that's what these taste like. This one tastes like a caramel frappe mixed with like a vanilla bean. This one is kind of tastes like just like a, these two both taste like caramel frappe. So, you know, I've been trying to save my money when it comes to Starbucks. So I guess I'll just be drinking these. But um, thank y'all for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.